Hi friends, I am back again and I'm going to be trying something brand new. I'm going to try to make some resin base paper towel holders. I've got three of these silicone six inch round molds and I've got three of the really cheap paper towel holders that I bought off of Amazon. I'll link them below. And I got the bowls off of Amazon also. I have eye candy black pigment paste that I'm going to use as a base color on all three of these that I'm gonna to make today. And then I've got, of course, my signature unicone art resin. And right here I have eight ounces already mixed up, ready to go. So let's get into this and see what we come up with. I'm going to spread out everything here and just kind of get everything a little bit organized as best as I can. I don't have a lot of working area on my table right now because I've got quite a few projects going on. But this was a new one to me, so I wanted to share it with you guys and we're going to see at the end how these come out. I think they're going to be pretty good. I've seen other people do them. So I want to try it for myself. So we're going to take the eight ounces of unicorn resin that I've already got mixed up and a little bit of the pigment paste. A little bit of this stuff goes a very long way. I think this jar was like $18, something like that but it lasts forever. You can see I'm using a small amount on the end of my popsicle stick here, just a really small amount. And I'm just gonna take that and scrape it onto the edge of my cup. Just like that. And then I'm going to mix that in. Now this stuff, it turns pitch black. And it's going to look like it is already mixed in right away. But you can see here, as I mix it up, when you pull your popsicle stick out, just like that, you can see the clearness. It's not quite black enough. So you just got to keep stirring. It usually takes a couple minutes of stirring until it's just that tar black that you're looking for make sure you get you scrape those edges you get it all the way down to the bottom just keep mixing until when you pull your popsicle stick out it is completely black just like that that's the color we're looking for i'm going to scrape off my popsicle stick a little bit make sure that it's not just tinted the stick like some of these dyes and resins uh, resin dyes do and then i'm just going to give it a couple more little mixes make sure that it's completely mixed all the way through all right it looks like we've got a good color it's just like kind of like when you check your oil when you take your stick the dipstick out wipe it off with a paper towel and stick it back in that's kind of like what you're doing here, just to make sure that your color is mixed all the way through, all the way to the bottom. That way you don't have any weird irregularities in your color. I know it looked like it was mixed like right away, but it wasn't. Now we've got a really good mix. I'm gonna wipe my stick off a little bit here so that we can get that poured. All right, now we're gonna, I'm just going to pour a little bit into each one of these, enough to cover the bottom. It does not necessarily have to cover the bottom of, be thick enough to color, cover the bottom of the paper towel holder, but enough to cover the bottom so that you have a good solid base. I'm just using black. You don't have to. I think you could use any color. But I like to use the black on, on a lot of these things, and I thought it would, I would try it out. Just going to set these three right down in the bottom here. And then I'm going to let this sit for a couple hours at least just to get it uh, firmed up. 
before I start anything else. All right, it's been a few hours. Now I am going to pour in some clear in here, just like that. And you can see I've already got my flowers picked out. I'm going to do a floral pattern on all of these. And I'm going to, I sped it up a little bit here. Just, <laughs> you don't have to sit here and watch an hour of me putting these flowers in. I just lay them in there. And I think that next time I do these, I think that I'm going to do a little bit more of put a lay a small layer of resin in put some flowers in just kind of layer them in a little bit better do more layers of resin so that it gives it a more kind of like a 3d effect i guess i liked how these turned out but i do want to have some more depth to it next time and i also want to get try to get some more on the edges but I think it did turn out pretty good. I'm just going to lay in these. I did one with red and yellow, one with the blue and white, and one that was pretty much just all red. I did put some leaves in there too. I just kind of grabbed a few of my things of flowers and put them in there just to see what we could do. Because like I said, this is my first time doing these two. I'm just going to keep layering these in there until I feel like it looks as good as I'm going to get it. Now I'm into the next day here and I am going to top this off with another eight ounces of resin split in between all of these. This is the best way to make it so that your flowers don't float to the top. If you do one layer with the clear, put your flowers on, let it dry. I don't even let it dry a whole day. I just let it dry a few hours until it's thickened and they're not going to move anywhere. And then I top it off with some more. This keeps your flowers from floating. Now it's the next day and we are going to take these out of the mold and see what we have. They're super easy to come out of the mold. They're not overly heavy. Sorry about that. Just hit my camera. And I think they turned out really well. They're not completely done yet. We still have to dome them, which will be in the next part here. But I take them out of the mold so that we can put that final touch on the top layer and look at that oh i really like it now you can see there you can see some of the flowers are still kind of at the top that's fine we are going to take care of that here in a minute i also got some dust in it these i can't cover usually i'll cover my projects once they're drying but i can't with these so there was a little bit of dust in it but i'm nothing that's going to show I really like the way that one turned out, but you can see how I'd like to get the flowers closer to the edges because once you put the paper towel holder on it, I don't want all of the pretty flowers to disappear. All right, now it's time to clean up the table so we can dome these. Doming is when you have them out of the mold and you put a thin layer on top. And now my table is not level. So you're going to see those popsicle sticks underneath. I was trying to get it to make sure that it is level. Now I'm going to take this small cup. I put it in the small cup just so that I could get around it a little bit easier than trying to use that big cup. Because when I level them out, I had them a little bit close to each other. And I was scared if I used the big cup, it was going to knock them all over the place. Now I'm just going to use that popsicle stick and take that thin layer that I just poured on top and bring it all the way to the edges. This just gives it such a pretty final look. You just need to make sure you get it all the way to the edge. And you really need to make sure that your table is level so that it doesn't all just fall off of the edge while you're doing this. It makes a mess when it does that. So you can see it is going right to the edge without going over. 
and I'm just going to use my popsicle stick. I do have a leveling board, but it's got other stuff on it right now. So I'm just having to, <laughs> to uh, improvise with popsicle sticks. But hey, it's working. So, you know, we just go with it. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other two. But I'm going to speed it up so it doesn't take so long. And then what I have for you is after this part of the video, I put some pictures of before doming and after doming so that you can see the difference of what it looks like before you do that and that just finished polished look when it's all domed nicely. And I know people are still learning. Doming is just the process of putting that thin layer it's usually about an eighth of an inch on top just to finish it off and it gives it that high gloss finish and it just really makes all of the difference in the world and you're going to see that at the end of how much of a difference it makes in what your projects the finished project will look like and here we go these are before doming. You can see that lip around the edge and the unfinishedness. And this is after. You see that beautiful dome on top. Just finishes them off. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. If you have anything else you want to see, any questions, comments, let me know below. I'll link the products that I used. Everybody have a great night.